In this short video, we'll show you how to install OpenCart. So the first thing you want to do is go to OpenCart.com and click download. And we are going to grab the latest version and click download. We're just going to save the file. And we will open, we will unzip that. Okay, and now we are going to upload the uh, files inside of the upload folder. So you're going to need some type of FTP program to upload directly um, to your server. Uh, one good free one is FileZilla. So what you're going to do is you're going to navigate, oops, navigate to here, open up the open cart folder and the upload folder. And we're actually just going to upload all of these files directly into the root directory. You could do it in another subfolder if that's where you wanted your store to be. So this will just take a, a couple minutes to uh, finish uploading. While your files are uploading, it's a good time to create a database on your server. So if you use something like, like cPanel, you're gonna to wanna to go down and look for um, MySQL databases and uh, create a database. So we could call this, um, what, what basically whatever you open whatever you want so we'll call that uh, open cart so that was created now go back and we have to create a user we will create a password you're gonna to want to remember these things so We'll create a user. We did that. Now go back, and we'll assign the um, user to the database. So that's what we just created. Just save that information and go back. Now that all the files have uploaded, we need to do, we need to rename two files. We're gonna rename in the root, it's config dist, and we're just going to rename that to config.php. And then we're going to go into the admin folder, and we're gonna do the same thing with this one. And then the next step is to run the auto installer. If you visit your domain name forward slash install or even the, the .com version, if it was in the root, it'll automatically uh, bring you to this page. And you'll click continue. And it's just gonna double check to make sure everything uh, looks okay. And then we will click continue. And then the next thing we need to do is uh, work on the configuration. And so we're going to use some of this database information that we had saved. So we'll just copy and paste this information we had saved previously. And then we'll need to come up with a password. This can be basically whatever you had wanted. So, and then we'll just do a, um, so whatever email address you have set up for that domain, and then click continue. Okay, I had actually, 
apparently made a mistake here. I think what actually I did, I think I had an extra space after the name of the database when copying and pasting. So you definitely want to uh, check that out. So we'll try continuing again and see if that fixes it. Okay, so that worked. And um, the next step, as, as it says, is to delete your installation directory. So if you go back to FileZilla, and this is the install folder, and so we will just delete that. Okay, and there that goes. So we'll go back to our browser. And there we go, we have installed OpenCart. And then you're gonna have to do a few more things uh, to get it actually set up, but, uh, but as far as having it installed, um, that, should, that should do it.